Welcome to another Method Man episode. Today you'll be learning how to find the greatest common divisor in the fastest way possible. This is for the people who are really bad with their division, or you just want to find the quickest way possible to find the greatest common divisor. So the keystrokes I want you to really memorize is that you just hit math. Math button. The math button is right here, math. And then you press the arrow key, arrow key to the right and quickly press 9 to get down to where it says greatest common divisor or you can scroll down to it so if you scroll you're gonna have to hit that too many times but if you like that you can or you can just press 9 it jumps right into it you don't have to press enter unless you scroll down to it then you're gonna have to press enter so you don't even need this step as long as you can get this thing to show up right here then uh, you're off to a good start so let's see where this applies First of all, greatest common divisor and the greatest common factor mean the same thing. So if that's the question that you're trying to find, whether you're trying to simplify something or you need to use it for something else, this is what you need to do. First, uh, here's problem number one. We'll use this example. Find the greatest common factor of 12 and 18. That just means what is the greatest number that divides into 12 and 18? If you could do that in your head, uh, I know some of you already know the answer, but if you're having trouble, this is what you do on the calculator. You hit math, the right arrow key, and 9, which access the function to find the greatest common divisor. Then let's just type in the first number, 12. 1, 2. The comma button is right here, right above the 7, comma, and then just type in the other number, 18, and complete the parentheses. So if you did that correctly and you hit enter, then you will get the answer right away. The greatest common divisor of 12 and 18 is 6. So let's apply that to problem number 2 just to get some more practice. Again, you hit math, right arrow key to the 9. Type in the two numbers with a comma and then complete the parentheses, enter. Uh, so sometimes it'll show up as 1 meaning that there is no other number besides 1 that can be divided into 17 and 77. Try something a little harder though in case you see three numbers. Problem 3. Find the greatest common factor of 14, 42, and 70. What you're going to want to do is access the same keystrokes of math, hit the right arrow key, and hit 9. But you're going to do that twice so that two GCDs show up math right arrow 9. So once you're at that step, let's move on to the second step. Type in the first two numbers separated by a comma, 14 comma 42, then complete the parentheses and this is really important, write another comma in there. And then the last step, super easy, type in the third number, 70. And once you have that, complete the parentheses and just hit enter and boom you got your answer 14 14 is the number that is the biggest which divides into 14 42 and 70 moving on to the last example find the greatest common factor or divisor of four numbers so let's try to do it on 12 28 52 and 60 first step uh, similar to the one with three numbers type in GCD twice followed by the first two numbers uh, separated with a comma. So GCD, GCD, 12, and 28. Math, right arrow key, 9. Math, right arrow key, 9. Type in the two numbers, 12 and 28, and complete the parentheses. Then put a comma for uh, step two. Type a comma, and then you're going to do that GCD function once again math right arrow key 9 looks super confusing but just practice this a little bit and you'll be super fast at it final step type in the last two numbers which is 52 separated with a comma a 60 complete that parentheses and if you press enter you got your answer 4 4 is the largest number that divides into 12 28 52 and 60 so let's test it out. Let's see if you remember the keystrokes. Try these two problems out on your own. 
Find the greatest common factor or divisor of 91, 98. And for problem two, try it with three numbers, 42, 28, and 56. When you are done, unpause that video, and I'm pretty confident that you'll have the right answer. All right, here are your answers. The problem number one, the first answer is seven. You just had to do that one time, and you would get a seven. Second answer, you had to put GCD twice, and when you hit enter, you should have gotten 14. Hopefully that helps you now simplify things in the fastest way possible. So if you're allowed to use a calculator and your teacher lets you, why not, right? Hope you liked that video. If you did, throw me a like, give me a subscription. If you need anything from me, let me know what other lessons you need and I'll try to make them as soon as possible. Until then, I will see you on the next episode. Peace!